Hey there. So there's a ton of cool stuff to cover that I actually missed from the first video I did, the uh, the deep dive. I it, It's not called that, is it? Anyways, it's up there somewhere. So you're probably coming here from that, and that's a good thing, because this is the uh, sequel. Let's actually get right to it, though. As you can see, I have the Stream Doc software opened. It did get an update recently. The loading screen looks a little different. It, it seems to be the same idea, though. First off, one of the coolest things, Operation Flow. So I have a default scene here. Let's just delete that. And there's, you know, just an empty scene going on. We talked about scenes in the first video, so we're just going to get right to it. The Operation Flow is basically, not even basically, it is macros. Like, it is a really cool macro tool. So how do we use this? Well, I have it down here on the right in your toolbox. We go to operation flow and we want to drag in an action flow. What the heck do we do from here, right? Well, first let's take a peek. We have to name the act, uh, action. So let's just name it action for now. Uh, open loop. Basically like you can experiment with these. I, I don't see a reason to loop anything. But you can make it loop uh, a certain amount of times and kind of stuff. Kind of cool, depending on what you need. So at least that that's available, right? Anyways, so in order to get in here, you, you can see there's it's not really telling us much, right? You have to go to the thing you dragged in, the action flow little module, and you're going to double click. Now, it's even more clueless looking, right? What the heck do I do now? So, you did notice over here, Operation Flow now has something called Delay. Well, that's going to be important. And look, you could still actually use any of these in here. So, anything on the right, you could drag in. So, let's get... Mm, now, now I have to think about a cool thing to show off. You, you could do everything. If you want to do a macro, you probably already know what you want to do. That's, that's the fun part, right? But let's just do regular hockey stuff. So when I press this button, it will press uh, it'll press eight, <laughs> or or you know what? Better yet, I know I know there's some. I think Hell Divers too is still popular, right? Probably uh, up. Uh, let's do. I think I, I haven't played it yet. I know I'm a slacker, but I, I do know there's like directional stuff. And people were like doing macros with them. So let's do something like that. I'm assuming there's four. Uh, whatever it is, you could do stuff like that. And if that's too fast for the game to recognize, well, that's where the delay comes in. So you could do a custom delay of a thousand milliseconds. Or let's actually take a peek. What is the lowest I can do? Let's put one. Wow. That's actually quite good. Can we do decimals? That would be kind of stupid. No, no decimals. I guess I guess that's a good thing. So one is the lowest milliseconds you could do from the looks of it. That's kind of crazy in general. I think like 100 might be more or even 10 <laughs> might be more realistic. But you could do that. So you could add delays in between each of these. You can indeed copy paste so I just control C control V and you can click and drag pretty cool you could also do things that are more productive maybe it'll open up a website or maybe it'll uh, paste a password or just certain text maybe there's a big sentence you always say like I don't know <laughs> like and subscribe a any of that stuff but stuff that you would type in into a chat maybe I don't know. I don't really do the streaming thing often, but I could see that being useful if it's like the usual kind of thing you want to say a lot. Anyways, this whole tool is really cool, as you could see, and definitely play around with it. If you have questions about this tool or anything in this video, throw it at me in the replies. I mean, the comment section. You know what I mean. And uh, I'll answer and look around for you or most things. I can't go too crazy here. But yeah, that is Operation Flow. So highly recommended to play around with it. Definitely. Really cool stuff. So the next up, the store. 
So we're going to go right to the top left. Here we go. It's going to do its little loading thing. Of course, let, let's bring it all back now. I literally had to wait a bit, play some Tekken, and come back to this. So we're accessing the store, and that's what comes up. And the homepage, just kind of showing you what's here. Just like, hey, check this out. You might know what you want already, but either way, this is just a little little teaser of what's to come. So let's go into plugins. And there we are. So a lot of these, you might not instantly know what they are. Um, some are familiar, like, hey, voice mod, that makes sense. Uh, time tools, what the heck is that? A word time, countdown, timer. Cool. There's uh, the little note thing. YouTube integration. There's a whole bunch to it. In fact, I I'm not going to, like, literally go over each one of these, obviously. <laughs> but at least let me just, like, go through them quickly. Like, scroll through them. So if you see something you like, at least you know what it does, right? So here I go. You know, pause the video if you if you see something cool, obviously. And once again, don't be afraid to ask a question about it. But as you can see, it does kind of mention what it does. Look at that. There's a Govi one. That's cool. I have some Govi lighting and some stuff, so that could actually be useful. Maybe. I personally already find a lot of use out of it doing the uh, shortcuts and hockey things, but if one of these is useful for you, well, go for it, obviously. And there's a lot of them. So that's the plugins. Of course, it does separate it by these different categories, but we just went through all of them, so you don't have to worry about that. So. Maybe alphabetical would, would have been a better idea. Uh, regardless, we saw those. Let's go to the icons. So there's a ton of different icons, icon sets, I should say, because a lot of these are absolutely massive. You could, of course, make your own icons like we did on the first video. But I do recommend the simple icons that you could just kind of plop text on and you're all set. Like... Let's see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. This, this is a cool one over here, Smart Switch. Nice, simple, looks cool. But there's so many of them to try out. And there's so many, like, moods you could get from them. So these are strictly, like, icons. That That's it. But it is nice not having to just straight up make your own graphics. Like, you could legit just get one of these and add one of these icons to it and go from there. In fact... Let's do that. Let me get this back. I had this on the old setup. This is like the new one. So I may as well get that. Let's get out of here. We're going to just add a basic uh, basic hotkey. And I'm going to go here at the bottom there. We're going to actually open icon library. There it goes. It took a little bit. And here's the icons I have right now. So let's say, see, nice, nice and poppy, I think. They're pretty cool. Uh, let's just stick with like a basic one. Like, I mean, they're all basic, but let's do that. And I'll show you what I mean. So I have that nice little decent icon, right? And then I have like, maybe this is a hotkey for uh, record. I'm going to press the text button here. We're going to center it. And look, I already have a, an icon here. So, cool. And that's why the icon packs are useful. You could do stuff like that. Anyways, let's get back to the store. Back to the icons. We basically... Yeah, these are these are here. Like, I don't think they're as, in, as important as the plugins. But they are here, and as you can see, they are useful. So, let's get to the next thing here scenes i i personally i don't know what this says but i don't find these scenes exactly useful these are basically instead of just like a plugin they're like the whole thing set up like you know we have our like scenes like 
here's my side two scene where it just has all my custom stuff there. Well, this is like its own thing. Regardless, whatever you do probably is just going to use hotkeys anyway. So I don't see a point in these other than maybe they already exist, like Adobe Illustrator. Like maybe maybe it's easier for you just to be like, hey, there's a thing for it. Uh, let me just get the defaults. But I love customizing my own shortcuts. Not all shortcuts are useful for me. But I could see this maybe being a step in the right direction. Yeah, these aren't as exciting as they seem, honestly. Uh, the plugins are going to be where it's at for that. Also, there's a whole tutorial page, which might be useful. It's almost everything from my first video. I feel like there's a few extra things here. Definitely a few extra things. But at least you have the uh, option to have tutorials built into the app. Like, why not, right? But if you get anything out of this, I would say the plugins, it's cool having useful ones here for sure. The icons saves you some time making your own. Definitely useful. And of course, our good old operation flow, which is just really cool. Yeah, I just wanted this to be a little, not too bite-sized, but enough to be like, hey, here's what I missed. Here's the cool stuff. And that's it. So, yeah, that's all. Uh, catch you later.